Hey guys, welcome to Porter's 12 month update. Woohoo, we have a one year old. Ah, I'm so excited. So sadly, this will be the last of the monthly updates. I'll probably do another one. Yay! I'll probably do another one when he turns 18 months old, but um, this is the last of the regular monthly updates. So kind of sad. He's just getting so big. I mean, look, he looks like a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Porter is 22 pounds now. So we gained another pound from last month to this month. We did go to the pediatrician and we have updated stats. So I will tell those to you. So he's 22 pounds. He is in the six, no, 60th percentile for weight. So that's pretty good. He is 31 inches tall, which makes him in the... 87th percentile for height which I can tell he's in the 87th percentile or like a really big percentile because he's already into 18 month clothes like this is an 18 month old outfit I've been putting him in 12 month outfits and he's too big for them so he is a really big boy yeah and for head circumference he is 46 point five centimeters which puts him in the 61st percentile for head so he is above average for all of his stats the pediatrician said he's looking awesome he got his finger pricked at the doctor and had his hemoglobin checked which was awesome and he also had his lead checked which we have not gotten those results back yet yeah the doctor looked him over and said Porter is looking awesome he's looking great he's growing awesome um, Porter is not walking yet so he's technically not a toddler yet because he's not toddling around I did bring this up with his pediatrician because I was kind of concerned he seems to have absolutely no interest in walking um, and the pediatrician reassured me that um, kids can wait to walk all the way up until 18 months so we have until 18 months to like really get worried about it so yeah he is not walking this past month he has started to cruise along the furniture so he will grab a hold of like the couch or like a dresser or something and he will like scoot himself along so he does start to do that but he is not walking like even if he's standing and i take hold of his hands and try to get him to walk that way he will not do it so he's a little stubborn which is okay like i don't need him walking and running and going crazy like he's already fast enough crawling but I just I know with Grayson like he took his first steps before he turned one he wasn't fully on walking until like 15 months but he did take his first steps and Porter hasn't even done that yet so we're working on it but um, nothing to be concerned about yet. This past month, Porter has noticed um, objects on the walls and the lights in the ceiling. So if I say, hey Porter, where's the light? Where's the light? Oh, the light? Oh, is the light on? Yeah, so he started to notice artwork on the walls and then um, lights on and off. He's not really talking, but he does eh. say eh. <laughs> and so, yeah, his favorite thing to look at is in his room. There's a picture of animals, and um, he loves looking at the animal picture. And then also in his room and Grayson's room, they have name signs that says like their first and middle name, and he loves looking at those too. But yeah, he has noticed things um, on the walls and in the ceiling which is super fun, like just seeing him notice things that he'd never noticed before. Also, he points to objects like this. Eh, eh. He doesn't use his pointer finger. He just, eh, eh. He gestures to lights or objects. It's the cutest thing ever. It's something that makes him unique. Yeah, light. He's pointing to the light right now. So that's what he does is he... Um, motions which is super cute. Porter loves clapping. Anytime we clap, he claps to say yay! Yay! <laughs> he loves to clap. He does his what I call his pity clap, which he keeps one hand uh, still and only claps with one hand and so I feel like it looks like a pity clap like oh good for you so it's really funny also Porter loves to blow kisses can you blow kisses give kisses say mwah, mwah, mwah. you blow kisses mwah, mwah. he loves 
loves blowing kisses just like that. He doesn't really like to like give kisses, but he loves blowing kisses. So it's really, really cute. Um, actually, the other day I got this clip. I will input it here. It's of Porter giving me lots of kisses. He loves giving me kisses. And Felix and I like dogs. He loves giving kisses too, too. Oh, and Daddy. He loves giving Anthony kisses as well. <laughs> so like I said, Porter is not walking. He crawls. He crawls so fast everywhere. And recently, his favorite way to crawl is doing the bear crawl. So he hates crawling on hardwood. And so anytime he's on a hardwood surface, he will bear crawl so that his knees don't have to touch the ground. It's so cute to watch. Um, and he goes really, really fast. He is a yeah. fast little baby. Porter loves to dance. Um, anytime we're like, go Porter, go Porter, he'll start to like bounce up and down. And he, yeah, he loves to dance, loves dancing. He loves when we play with sidewalk chalk outside on the driveway. He likes to try to eat the sidewalk chalk which is not good, I have to watch him. But he has this past month taken sidewalk chalk and started to like draw on the driveway. And so it's really cute to see him like connecting it. He'll do that with crayons too. He likes to eat the crayons, so I have to watch him, but he also will try to draw with them too. So it's really cute. Porter loves touch and feel books. So any of the like never touch a monster, never touch a shark, any of those, he loves those kind of books. Um, he also loves books that make noise. His favorite book right now is called Noisy Baby Animals. And it's just a book that has a ton of different animals. And then you push um, the button and it makes the noise the animal makes and then has like fur for the animal. He loves that book. I would say Porter's favorite toy right now is this little barnyard toy. If you push a red button on it, it'll make noise and sing songs and he loves playing with it. He also loves the stacking rings. That's kind of more recent. He'll take rings and he'll start stacking them. Porter loves seeing animals. Anytime we're out on walks and he sees a dog, um, like somebody walking their dog, he always coos at them like, oh, and um, loves it. Uh, my parents' dog, Berkeley, he loves seeing her. He'll like pet her. He pets animals like this <laughs> and loves dogs. He loves our cat, Felix. Felix is weary of him, doesn't usually get too close, but he loves Felix, chases him everywhere, um, loves to try to pet him, so he does love animals. Porter absolutely loves his daddy. Anytime Anthony walks into a room or we walk into a room that Anthony is in, Porter immediately will see him and say, da! And he loves dada. His favorite word, his favorite word is still dada. I'll be like, Porter, say mama, and he'll be like da 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 da. So he loves da da, loves Anthony. He'll crawl over to Anthony and like stand up and put his arms up, like hold me. And he loves Anthony. Of course, he loves his mommy too. He is a lot more independent the older he gets. I can put him in the playroom and he'll play with toys. He does like being held here and there, but it's definitely getting better. I think once he starts walking, hopefully it'll get better as well. It's really hard because he's in this stage right now where if we go somewhere, he wants to get down and explore. And sometimes that's just not feasible. Like if we're on a hard, if we're on like, pavement or something he wants to crawl around but like it, it's hot on his knees so I can't put him down and of course he won't walk so it's kind of he gets frustrated with not being able to explore he loves going to the park and he'll climb the stairs now and I'll go down the slide with him or I'll hold him as he goes down the slide so he loves being able to do things himself and being independent of course, Porter loves his big brother still. He wants to do everything Grayson does. Whatever toy Grayson's playing with, he tries to play with it too. Um, and he wants to make Grayson laugh, so he'll chase after him or just like lay on him or 
do all the things. So he loves playing with Grayson, totally looks up to him. It's really cute. Porter can't hold the bottle by himself now, which is super nice for me. Um, also, if I just put a bottle on the floor and it's next to him, he knows to lay down, roll over, and then reach over, grab the bottle, pull it to him, and put it up. So that's really impressive and really nice for me because I can just put the bottle down and then if he's hungry he'll drink it and if he's not he doesn't. So that's really nice. Again more independence from him. Porter loves making messes. He's very, very mischievous. Um, he loves taking, going to bookshelves and grabbing all the books and ripping them off the bookshelf and just putting them on the floor. Um, he loves going and doing that to our movies that are in this like entertainment center right here. Uh. He loves going to the pantry and we have like a jar full of like rock candy liquid like flavors. Loves going to that, dumping out all the liquids and um, they're just like in containers and playing around with the mason jar. He uh. loves making messes <laughs> and then I have to clean up after him. Uh. Porter's personal favorite mess that he likes to make is he likes to go to the bathroom, take the toilet paper, put it in the toilet, and then take the toilet paper out after it's already sopping wet and throw it on the floor and make super messes with that. So I have to watch him in the bathroom because he will either just tear all the toilet paper off or usually he toots it in the um, toilet and then takes it out and gets water all over the toilet seat and all over the floor. Porter loves going on walks in the stroller. Anytime I bring out the stroller, he like gets excited and is like, ah, ah, like, and he crawls as fast as he can to the stroller. Like he loves sitting in the stroller, loves it. He also loves bath time. He loves splashing in the water. Just recently I took away the bath seat to see how he would do because he's been sitting on his own for several months now and he loves it. He can now have freedom. Of course I'm watching him closely in the bathtub but he loves having the freedom of being able to like not just being stuck in one place so he loves bath time a lot more now. Porter loves eating anything that Anthony and I have in our hands, especially anything sweet. He loves to eat cake, ice cream. He loves all that. He's definitely my child. He loves the sweets. And of course, big brother Grayson loves sweets as well. Porter hates lying still for me to change his clothes or change his diaper. If you've ever seen that meme where it's like, they compare diaper changing to wrangling a crocodile that keeps like spinning over and over. That is definitely Porter. He does not want to have the time for me to change him. Anytime I try to take his diaper off, he just tries to run away butt naked. <laughs> and then of course he's like peeing everywhere. So yeah, he does not like to have patience with me getting him dressed and diaper changes. Porter is a very determined baby and does not like it when I discourage him from doing something that he shouldn't be doing. I'm already starting to see a little bit of tantrums here and there, uh, just getting frustrated when he can't do something that he wants to do. So it's just kind of getting a little glimpse of like him turning into a toddler and having opinions about things. Porter can say mama, dada, kitty. He loves saying uh-oh. That is his favorite, say uh-oh. Uh-oh, he loves saying uh-oh. He also can say hi. <laughs> so he's definitely learning um, words. The pediatrician told me that they should know at least two words by 12 months, and he's saying more than that. So he is doing well with his words. He's starting to get into books, so I'll start to read him books at night before I put him down to sleep, and he enjoys sitting there and listening to them. This past month, Porter actually got COVID. Um, I didn't really talk about it much, but he did test positive for COVID. And so that was not fun, but he got over it and was fine. It was really just like cold symptoms and yeah, he's totally fine. He has another cold now. <laughs> Big brother Grayson goes to preschool, gets all the germs and brings it back to Porter. So um, yeah, but he's doing just fine. He's healthy and great. For sleeping, he's still on one nap. Um, beginning of the month, he was taking really short naps, like maybe an hour here or there. 
Um, but as the month has gone on and he's gotten older, he's definitely taking longer naps, which is really nice. Two, two and a half, three hour naps, which is super, super nice for me. Um, also at night, he's still waking up one to two times a night. He, every like five days, he'll sleep through the night. But other than that, he's waking up at least once a night for me to feed him. We just yesterday got through his last bottle uh, or his last can of formula. So he is, as of right now, fully on to um, whole milk. So I'm hoping that he will stop waking up in the middle of the night now that he's not on formula. We will see how it goes. But it seems like he's kind of getting over this video. It is kind of long. So we're gonna go. Can you say bye bye? Can you say bye bye? Say bye bye. Thanks so much for watching. I'm so happy my baby is one now and he's just getting so big. So make sure to subscribe to keep watching Porter growing up. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye bye. Bye. You blow kisses? Give kisses. Say mwah, mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Say bye. Bye, guys.